Hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check out a video called How India Runs the World's Biggest Election. And I'm Nathan. And I'm Rachel. Trinity! Troy. Michael Jordan. Hi baby. And we got Air. Dexter in here with us too. Yes, Dexter's in here. It's Air Michael right here. You wearing those Air Nikes? It's his right here. Uh, yeah, we're going to check this video out. Um, evidently India has the world's largest election, so I'm what? very curious to see see what this video shows. But real quick, before we do, oh, what he you wants your love, he wants you. <laughs> Just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support on the channel. And if you can, can you hit that like and subscribe, followed by that little Ooh, notification bell. 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 Yep. Go. Say it. I did. Go. No, right, well, it. she did it. So let's let's just jump right into it. Check this video out. The oh, world's flags. biggest democracy just had an election. The world's biggest democratic election. It's a marathon election. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the world's biggest exercise in democracy. In India, voters picked its central government for the next five years. Oh. An eighth of the world's population was eligible to vote in this election. Ooh. This year, 2019, there are 900 million eligible voters in India. Goodness. Making this the largest democratic exercise in the history of humanity. But this isn't a video about Indian politics. Because before India's people can even cast their vote, the election needs to come to them. Polling stations need to be set up wherever people live. And in one of the largest and most populous countries in the world, that isn't an easy task. India has to reach voters in coastal cities in the south, in the rural regions of the west and jungles to the east, and everywhere in between. And what's more, they want every Indian citizen to be within two kilometers of a voting station. Oh my gosh. That's only yes. about 25 city blocks, no matter where you are in the country. It's an incredibly ambitious goal, and yet somehow they're able to do it. This is the how? biggest election in the world, and I wanted to know, how does it work? Thank you, I mean... That is astonishing. That's pretty awesome. That's I didn't understand what you said. That's a lot of voting places. Um, they got polls. Yeah, polls and polling stations. Every election, a team of government officials and security forces get on a boat in the east of India to take off towards this island. They travel about a hundred kilometers to get here, all to securely deliver these. Electronic Voting Machines, or EVMs. The instrument that logs India's votes. The heart of this elaborate election process. India has 2.3 million voting machines for its 900 million voters. Goodness so getting these gracious. machines close to every voter is a big logistical undertaking. That's so pretty. That's why India doesn't have a single election day. Instead, it's closer to an election month with multiple Good phases Lord. that last weeks. That's this process takes really more smart. than 11 million election officials and security forces who move from polling station to polling station to polling station, from densely populated cities to the rural areas where the majority of Indians live. Once on the island with the EVMs, officials pile onto bike carts and head towards the polling station. <clears throat> that dude's got some strong legs. Yeah. Once they arrive, they begin setting everything up for the vote. I wish people in America thought that way. You know, it's it because it, a lot of people I know they're like, my vote doesn't count, so what's the point? You know what I mean? On election day, voters line up, cast their vote, and get their fingers inked to prevent double voting. America needs to do that too! <laughs> this is where the process ends for the voters. But for the election officials, this is just the beginning. Driving a boat out to a remote island is just one of many ways that officials reach every voter. Oh my God. India's vast and diverse terrain requires transportation methods of all kinds. 
Like in the jungles of this northern state, where elephants transport voting machines to reach a remote town. Or in the Himalayas, where officials hike for hours to bring EVMs for election day. Helicopters, trains, they even use camels. But what makes India's elections so impressive isn't just how they reach everyone in such a big country. That's just half the battle. It's also the ways they try to include voters of all backgrounds into the process. A challenge that has been a part of India's elections since the very beginning. India has 22 official languages and hundreds of dialects. And when India became an independent nation, less than a quarter of the population could read and write. Oh my God. The newly formed Election Commission of India created a range of symbols to correspond to each political party, like an elephant, a lotus, a hand, or even an alarm clock so that from the beginning, all people, regardless of literacy level and language, could vote with confidence. Since 1947, the literacy rate has increased significantly. Thank God. But it's still only 75%, so these symbols are still useful to many when casting a vote. That just makes me so mad that the... the but this is a massive, sprawling operation. And over the years, it's run into some pretty serious problems, like allegations of election rigging and problems with a practice called booth capture, where gangs actually take over polling stations and oh, tamper with the elections. It's partly because of these problems that the commission introduced these voting machines in the 1990s. It also increased security around the elections. Oh my God. These efforts to include all voters and protect elections seem to be working. In 2019, India saw the highest voter turnout sorry, yet. Baby. And for the first time, women voted just as much as men. <laughs> India's elections are only getting bigger and more complicated. India has one of the fastest growing populations in the world. And in 2020, young people will make up more than a third of the country. I voted for the first time since 2018, and this is my indelible ink mark. Done with our voting. So happy that I did my voting for the first time. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was the middle finger there for a second. It takes millions of officials fanning out across a massive country to help hundreds of millions vote. Every part of this, the symbols, the elephants, the boats, the machines, shows how hard it is to make sure that everyone in a country this large can participate. Mm -hmm. And all without going more than two kilometers from home. That's awesome that they can yes. do that two Amazing. kilometers from home. The evolution of democracy in South so Asia. He does. Check out the Bhutan episode of Asian Monarchies. He kind of looks like Jim Hopper. Series of documentaries mm -hmm. on Curiosity Stream. No, Curiosity no. Stream is a subscription streaming service that offers thousands yeah, of documentaries and nonfiction titles from some of the world's best films. Okay. That was very interesting. You didn't. You kind of don't realize what. Because. Um, we kind of think of it as, you know, what well, here in the here in the states, it's one day for voting, one day, and that's it, boom, you're yeah, done. Yeah, you got a race to get there. And you don't think like, man, a country as as many people as, as India has, like that would be near impossible to try to get all those people in one day. And the fact that they have it to where you are where you are within two kilometers of your house. I wish we like had how? We're like what five miles from ours? Well, I mean, it's not, it's not even that, it's just the, some of the more super rural places in India, and they've got to put to where those people can... I can't imagine just the uh, the amount of manpower and everything. They said, what, 2 point something million voting machines? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go for out. the 900 That's, million voters. Yeah. That, 2.8 million. 2.8 million? I believe it was. It just blew, blew, something like that. blew me away um, to see what, what all was involved, but... Uh, and it, it's good to see the people talking about how it's it's good, you know, to cast your vote and everything. Which it is. It's good. You should uh, always participate in your voting because, like people say, you don't vote, can't complain about who's in office. Which is you, you can, know, but you can, but but, you. but people are like, hey, who'd you vote for? Well, I didn't vote. Well, okay. Um, so yeah, it's cool to see people really really get involved and uh, to at least cast your vote. To, you know, to sure. to show your support for for how your country does uh, does their elections. But that was pretty amazing. What'd you guys think? That was, that was pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. Are you done? No, I was just going to let you know. No, go. Uh, it was pretty interesting. It's kind of interesting how they get their fingers inked mm -hmm. when yeah. they uh, vote so they don't, can't double vote. I thought I thought it was in interesting in, um, that that bandits or, like, gangs take over polling stations. Oh, yeah, stations. back in the day, yeah, they would just take over polling stations and 
It's gangster. <clears throat> Basically, rig it to who they wanted voted. Which, I can believe that. Yeah, which I mean, I I think that that's happened like. It has happened. But way now. back in the day, like in a lot of places, that, that stuff yeah. used to happen. Uh, but, uh, Trini, what'd you think? Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't realize there was that many people in India. Well, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think that's only registered voters. That's that is, not the full yeah. population. Like that's crazy. Like, yeah, I feel they, like India is like more than half of the world. Then they, oh, they, sorry, go ahead. I think they have well, they have over a billion. Yeah, people. they have over a billion people. How many? Isn't there like seven billion people in the world? Yeah, yeah I think so. Like that. That's crazy. Um, pretty. What were you confused about at the beginning, though? Me? Yeah, you said I didn't understand that. Was it when they're talking about being oh within? whatever he was saying Two at kilometers. the very beginning? Yeah, I think it was right after he said something about the being within two kilometers of having a voting station. Twenty five city blocks. Twenty five yeah, city blocks. Yeah, he said something about that. I was like, I don't know what that means. That's two kilometers. Yeah, he was just someone saying like two kilometers. Like, is like a reference. I did, yeah. So I guess if they can, they don't have to go far to vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's all he was saying. And it's just the fact of how massive that country is, and it just shows you how much they have to go out there because there's a lot of rural places. Like they shut <laughs> some of those places up top. Sorry about uh, very off. Uh, all right, babe. I think it's really smart the way that they do a one month instead of a one day. I think if we actually did something here like that, one more week people. Would be nice. Yeah, one week something. I thought it was a more week. than a day. No, one it's day. only a day. Yeah. No, I mean we have early what? voting where you can vote. Yeah, for they like do a have week. Ear yeah. But the actual election day, you can only vote for one day, and they have the polls open to like super, super, super late at night. So I, you know, we, me and Rachel last time we did early voting. Yeah. Uh, which is it's just better because it's not as crowded and everything. But it yeah, it's phone. yeah, it don't exactly. take as long. So yeah, we do here in the states. It is you have one official election day, but you can do early voting, which lasts for I think it's more than a week. I think it's just a week. It's, well, even if it is just a week, that's still you know that's still pretty good though. For, but for yeah, the I procrastinate like Jordan, don't vote. <laughs> She's just what? threw you under the bus. That's because I work. <laughs> way, I work too. Way later you were working. No, sweetheart, when we just voted in 12, was it 2016? 2018. 2018. When we voted in 2018, you didn't vote because you were like, no, wait, it was 16. No, wait. They couldn't vote in 2016. Yeah, it was 2018. You didn't vote because you were. You didn't. Oh, you didn't vote in the presidential election. No, they you voted in they the city, the, the county election. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah it wasn't the president. So, run around with yourself back there. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, but anyway. I didn't vote. Anyway, uh, anything else, babe? That's it. Uh, that was a very, very cool video. Like learning about that. What about so Jordan? I know, right? You just oh, I thought out. you already said it. I said, said anyways <laughs> twice. And then you was like, anyways. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for it. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I, I honestly thought you'd already said something. Go ahead. I thought I think it's really nice how they go out to all those places, you know, take that really hard effort to go out and reach every single person. Even if yeah. they don't want to work, they get the opportunity mm -hmm. to, which, you know, no, no difficulties at all. You know, two kilometers, it's pretty nice. And I wish that America had like a fingerprint system where you have to like put your fingerprint in the system to vote. And once it's entered, you can't re-enter it. Yeah, because and we have a lot of voters. Because that fraud ink idea is really good, because you know. And we also have a lot of hackers who. How would you know? Try. What? It's all over the news all the yeah, time. It happens all the time. Trini's just calling on everybody. I mean, she's she just, being so mean today. Like what active. is up with you? I mean, Trini's surly this video. What is up with you today? Oh, uh, you didn't vote. Who'd you vote for? <laughs> she didn't even vote for the presidential election. She's just talking I'm about me. I'm too young, so. Yeah, you guys are both too young for the presidential election. Anyways. <laughs> I wish that uh, somebody would go. You know, take out votes, you know, little computers, and just throw turning off the side of the boat. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just kidding. That's, that's wow. harsh. Wow, wait a minute. Do that's you have harsh. an insurance policy Thanks, on her yet? Thanks, Dan. No, but I don't need one. I said that was harsh. <laughs> uh, yeah, let us know if any of you are uh, kind of out in the rural area and how, how that... Uh, uh, you know how nice it is to have have a voting station pop up uh, pretty close. Yeah, let us know. Let us know what what you guys think of that. And yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for all your love and support on the channel. You guys are awesome. Love y'all. Bye guys. Shoot bow, skilly dow. I'm starving. Can we hurry up and figure out what we're doing? Yeah, we're we're hurrying.